Hi, Rooted family. I'm Sydney, and I'm going to be reading Mark 7 for you guys. Now when the Pharisees gathered to him with some of the scribes who had come from Jerusalem, they saw that some of his disciples ate with hands that were defiled, that is, unwashed. For the Pharisees and all the Jews do not eat unless they wash their hands properly, holding on to the traditions of the elders. And when they come from the marketplace, they do not eat unless they wash. And there are many other traditions that they observe, such as the washing of cups and pots and copper vessels and dining couches. And the Pharisees and the scribes asked him, why do your disciples not walk according to the traditions of the elders, but eat with defiled hands? And he said to them, Well, did Isaiah prophesy of you hypocrites? As it is written, This people honors me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching as doctrines the commandments of men. You leave the commandments of God and hold on to the traditions of men. And he said to them, You have a fine way of rejecting the commandments of God in order to establish your tradition. For Moses said, Honor your father and mother, and whoever reviles the mother or father must surely die. But you say, If a man tells his father or mother, whatever you would have gained from me is korban, that is, given to God, then you no longer permit him to do anything for his father and mother, thus making him void to the word of God by your tradition that you have handed down, and many such things you do. And when he called these people to him again, he said, Hear me out, all of you, and understand, there is nothing outside a person that is going into him that can defile him, but the things that come out of a person are what defile him. And when he has entered the house and left the people, his disciples asked him about the parable. And he said to them, There are you also without understanding. Do you not see that whatever goes into a person from the outside cannot defile him, since it enters him not of his heart, but of his stomach, and is expelled? Thus he declares all food clean. And he said, What comes out of a person is what defiles him. For from within, out of the heart of man, comes evil thoughts, sexual immorality, theft, murder, adultery, coveting, wickedness, deceit, sensuality, envy, slander, pride, and foolishness. All these evil things come from within, and they defile a person. And from there he arose and went away to the region of Tyre and Sidon. And there he entered the house and did not want anyone to know, yet he could not be hidden. But immediately a woman whose little daughter had an unclean spirit heard of him and came and fell down at his feet. Now the woman was a Gentile, a Sinophoenician by birth, and she begged him to cast out a demon of her daughter. And he said to her, Let the child be fed first, for it is not right that your children's bread be thrown to the dogs. But she answered him, Yes, Lord, even the dogs under the table eat the children's crumbs. And he said to her, For this statement you may go away. The demon has left your daughter. And she went home and found the child lying in bed and the demon gone. Then he returned to the region of Tyre and went through Sidon and the Sea of Galilee and the region of Decapolis. And they brought him to a man who was deaf and had a speech impediment. And they begged him to lay his, his hands on him. And taking, aside, and taking him aside from the crowd and privately, he put his fingers to his ears and after spitting, touched his tongue. And looking up to heaven, he sighed and said to him, Ephetata, that is, be open. And his eyes were, his ears were open, his tongue was released, and he spoke plainly. And Jesus charged them to tell no one. The more he charged them, the more zealously they proclaimed it. And they were astonished beyond measure, saying, He has done all things well. He even makes the deaf hear and the mute speak. Thank you for joining us this morning. God loves you and so do we. <laughs> that was so good. That was so good.